Holy crap, folks. We're here. Halloween Horror Nights announcement season has begun because Universal has dropped the first batch of tickets and the general theme, logo, catchphrase, whatever, for Halloween Horror Nights 32, Halloween Horror Nights 2023, whatever you want to call it. I'm super excited to dive into this. So first off, we have these single night tickets, of course, starting at $79.99 per person. Not really too surprising here, although the great thing to note is that we do have dates of course with tickets come dates and our dates are september 1st to october 31st of course ending on halloween this was the speculated dates for a long time so this is not too surprising again that these are the dates we're going to go with last year started i believe on september 2nd so it makes sense september 1st falls on a friday this year so we get all of september and all of october to enjoy halloween horror nights i believe 44 nights of halloween horror nights and it also clears up the rumor of monday to friday in october i know that was a rumor that was swirling around that we're going to be getting monday to friday halloween horror nights in october but that's not happening this year of course here we also have Halloween Horror Nights Express Pass starting at $109.99. You know, it's Express Pass. They're going to have Express Pass. They're going to drop those when they drop the single night tickets. I'm considering getting Express Pass this year for opening night because I want to be there and I want to be able to experience all the haunted houses at the event this year. And speaking of houses, this seems to dispel the rumor that we were going to be getting 11 haunted houses because on the website, it still says 10 haunted houses, five scare zones. So that seems to be what we're going to be getting. I know there has been rumors that the Men in Black tent is going to be reused this year and uh, a lot of people are thinking that was going to be the 11th house. I don't think that's the case. Obviously, it says 10 houses on the Halloween Horror Nights website. However, this proposed Men in Black tent could be a substitution for one of the houses that we're getting. So maybe one of the 10 and they may not be using one of those other locations. But back to tickets, we also have the RIP tour starting at $299.99 pretty standard for the RIP tour. However, if you want a more private personal RIP tour experience, the private RIP tours are also on sale. You need to call to book these. These aren't listed online uh, price wise. And here's where I noticed the big change for this year. And that comes with the unmasking the horror tour, which I did last year. I made a video on it. I had a great time with it. It's a fantastic behind the scenes tour that you can take pictures inside the haunted houses and check out the houses during the daytime. And while last year I paid about 120, 130 for my tour, tour of my six house tour this year the three house tour is going to run you about $120 and the six house tour is going to run you $170 those are just starting prices those are going to be your days in October your Tuesdays and Thursdays in October days during the week that the tour is running um, much much later into the event it does get a little cheaper but if you're going to go on that Saturday or that opening weekend or even and most of the time in September you're going to be seeing that $180, $190, $200 tour. I'm still a little conflicted on it. I do want to do it for the channel. I do want to make another video and sort of show you all what this tour is like because I think it's definitely worth I think it's really a cool tour to participate in. But dang man, $200, that's a little steep. Even $170 is pretty steep, at least for me. But regardless, if you're interested in those things, they're all on sale on the Universal website. No frequent fear passes or character dining yet. I do definitely want to do this character dining this year. I didn't get to do it at all last year and I definitely regretted it. But I'm sure that stuff's going to go on sale later on into announcement season once we get a little closer to the event. Finally, the last little piece of this announcement is the themed merchandise for this year, which reveals this year's sort of tagline logo. It is See You in the Fog, which I'm really happy with. I'm excited that it's a different sort of tagline. You know, they've done the Don't Go Alone in 2021, Never Go Alone last year, so I'm kind of glad we're moving away from that. I'm glad we're moving into something a little different. And of course, the fog is such an iconic part of Halloween Horror Nights. We all love the fog, so I'm glad Halloween Horror Nights is using that to sort of market the event this year. And looking deeper into this picture, we see sort of these, you know, shadowy figures standing at the bottom with the whole see you in the fog graphic, and then it's sort of skull in the background. I really like how they're using this blue, sort of neon blue design for this year. And this makes me think they're going to lean into something a little more supernatural this year, maybe. You know, last year was traditional Halloween. The oranges and stuff made sense because you're going with the classic Halloween. But this year, I don't know. I feel like we're going to be getting some supernatural elements at Halloween Hornets this year. This is way early speculation. I know nothing. This is just based on this picture. I'm thinking 
we might be getting some supernatural, general supernatural uh, legends theme this year. And I'm literally editing this as Halloween Horror Nights posts a new reel to their Instagram, which reads, the legend is real. So maybe this is also another hint to some ghost stories, folklore, legends, supernatural things. I don't know. That's what I really hope is the theme for this year. But I don't know. I think this this could be the little, first little bit of announcement, first little bit of tease for the theme for this year, for the general idea for this year. Although I could be totally wrong. But yeah, what do you all think of this? I'm excited that tickets are on sale. I'm excited that Halloween Horror Nights announcement season has begun. I'm excited for more announcements, some more house announcements, maybe some stuff that's not just IP, some original stuff can be announced hopefully. But regardless, let me know what you think of these announcements. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing more Halloween Horror Nights videos as the time comes as we get closer and closer to the event and i've been trying to make non-halloween horror nights videos but universal just keeps pulling me back in with the horror nights keeps pulling me back in with the fog and this announcement i had to talk about it here i want to thank you all for watching this video and of course i will see you all in the next one not halloween horror nights related i promise see y'all then